The Office is truly a show that keeps on giving. The workplace comedy has been off the air since 2013, but we're still finding new, hilarious Easter eggs all the time. Here are 11 details from The Office that even the biggest fans might have missed. Number one, David Wallace also has a World's Best Boss mug. In the Valentine's Day episode of season two, you can briefly see David's mug. But unlike Michael's, David's mug is black. Can there really be two World's Best Bosses? I think that pretty much sums it up. Number two, Michael makes his own brand of salad dressing. In season four, episode two, you can see a jar of great Scott dressing with Michael's picture on it. In a deleted scene, Michael explains that he makes the dressing by mixing Newman's Ranch with Newman's Italian. I could make a profit if I changed one of the ingredients to Wishbone, but I won't do it. Number three, John Krasinski broke character when signing Meredith's pelvic cast. Yep, in season four, episode three, instead of signing Jim Helper, Krasinski signs his own name. Classic Krasinski. Number four, the Dunder Mifflin newsletter is nonsense. In season one, episode four, the show's writers clearly had some fun with the Top Salesman Award. The text reads, as anybody can easily tell, this newsletter doesn't really have a lot to say. It's really just a prop to fill some space and sort of look like a newsletter without really being much of a newsletter at all. The writers use that text in other newsletters on the show too. Keep an eye out on your next rewatch. Number five, did you know that Jim's title in Stanford was Assistant Regional Manager? Dwight spent years begging Michael to be assistant regional manager instead of assistant to the regional manager, and all Jim had to do to get the title was relocate. Dwight just can't win. Number six, Michael kept his broken plasma TV on the wall. If you assume that Michael's plasma TV would be gone after Jan drew a dundee at it, you're wrong. Pam visits Michael's apartment and the broken flat screen is still hanging on the wall. We get it, Michael. It's hard to part with memories. Number seven, Michael later tried to sell the broken plasma TV. If you look closely in season seven's garage sale episode, the tiny shattered TV can be seen on Michael's table of things to sell. How much would you have paid for the iconic piece of plasma TV history? That is a $200 plasma screen TV that you just killed! Number eight, we also spied the creepy clown art that was stuck to the wall of Jim's parents' old house. You may remember the clown painting that was apparently crucial to the structural integrity of the house. It is also visible as a for sale item in the garage sale episode. Number nine, Oscar is clearly drinking prop wine at Robert California's pool party. In season eight, episode 12, Oscar drinks from a bottle of, uh, Chateau Galmon. But if you look at the bottom of the wine bottle, you'll notice someone forgot to remove the prop label with Oscar's name on it. Oops, maybe it should have said Bacchus, God of Wine. And I am Bacchus's friend. Number 10, did you ever catch Andy Bernard's name in Call of Duty? In season three, episode three, the Stanford branch gets really into Call of Duty. At one point, you can see Andy's screen name after Jim kills his player. His name, Here Comes Treble, which is also the name of Andy's college acapella group at Cornell. Ever heard of it? Number 11, Jim's last name is misspelled at his rehearsal dinner. Instead of welcoming the Beasley Halpert wedding party, Jim's placard said Beasley Halpert. Was this a prank? An error? Who knows? So there you have it. The writers, cast members, and showrunners of your favorite comedy were even more clever than you realized. If there are any other Easter eggs we missed, tweet them at us, and we'll send you a shiny Stanley nickel for each one. What's the ratio of Stanley nickels to shrewd bucks? The same as the ratio of unicorns to leprechauns. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this.